prototype system that's been created between Jaguar Land Rover, Intel and the Linux Foundation under the Automotive Grade Linux banner. It's built on Tizen 1.0. It has some patches to bring it up to date to closer to 2.0. Um, and it's designed as a platform that's completely open source for people to generate new ideas and new concepts on. It's been designed to show people what a Tizen-based IVI system would be capable of without actually providing a hardened platform that you could sell. It has a number of functions. It has the phone that you would expect and people can develop this and we will stitch this to Bluesy and a phono to make it actually operate as a hands-free system. It has GStreamer for audio and for video. It has a basic car interface. But the most important bit is it has open graphics and each of these segments can be replaced at will by whoever on the planet wants to download this. Importantly, it has the ability to have an open app store. This isn't a true app store that stitches to the internet, but we have given away the code on the front end platform and the back end platform so somebody could understand and create their own if they so choose. If we go to the store, you have a number of different applications and different user themes that you can install. We also have a problem in this corner here. And it's been created as, as to enable a higher starting point for anybody across the planet that wants to develop on an IVI platform. Um, it's free to download. You can go and download it today from Automotive Grade Linux. About 4,000 people have in, downloaded and are playing with this in its various forms, and that's over the last four months. And it's, it's the first truly open demo platform that people can recreate. Well, this is an open source platform that anybody can download and play. So it's not a product. It's very much not a product. It's not a sign of where Intel or anyone else is going. It's, it's a base platform that you can innovate and create content or anything else on top of. This, do, this has streaming capability, but it's ultimately it's a Tizen distribution. It's, it's not ready to be productized. It's, it's there for people to build on and add various uh, items to, as opposed to to say, yes, we can put this in a product. We chose the, the, the portrait because other than Tesla, nobody puts it in a car. And you could not put this in a car in this position. This is all wood. You can see that this is a one-off car that was created just, just for today, really, as opposed to um, anything that you would, you would put into production. Can you tell me about the, the, the specifics of these some devices here? Are they running on Tizen IVI? Or? Yes, so both of these devices are running on Tizen IVI. They're both completely open source platforms. The, the top one has some proprietary graphics. Uh, again, this was just a, a very quick mock-up that we did in a, in, a, in a very quick hacker sense, as opposed to anything. This isn't a, this isn't a product, and we've never even had it quoted. For as far as we're concerned, all it is is something to show, something to talk about, and more importantly, a way that we can help people who have truly new ideas to be able to rapidly show their concepts on a platform, in a car or on a, on a bench, as opposed to anything else. So this is about uh, ensuring that the ecosystem has something that they can build on in the future. So why do you have the, the Land Rover and Jaguar logos there, and there are some two... Um, displays there, there we... So those displays behind us are that whatever we press on here, right. it happens there, so that more than one person or three people can sit in the car at a time. We have those logos because it is a Land Rover vehicle, uh, but you can see at this point we have the Intel logo here. Mm -hmm. um, all of the work for this was done by Symphony Teleca. A lot of the work for this was done by Fourier Labs. And if you go to the AGL homepage, Automotive Grade Linux, it will show you all of the different parties that have built out various elements of this system. It's a big collaborative open source platform. Can we get a better look at some of the user interface elements and what controls do you have there? Um, we can. It's not complete because it's, it's in development as you'd expect, but you have the, the, the means of scrolling across the different the videos. Mm -hmm. This one is by Symphony, right? This is by Symphony Teleca, yeah, this, this page. It took them about a day and a half, nothing too painful. We have the phone, it doesn't actually pair with my phone at the moment, so you have the fake phone book. We have the bugs in this top corner. 
Come on. Um, and then you have the car interface. And this is shown really not because you'd ever use it on the road, but it enables people to understand how to take a CAN signal or fake a CAN signal and bring that right the way through to the graphics and develop what they want uh, in the future based on that. And this has been developed with CSS as well. So I can change the theme from green to blue and that will change it for all the pages. It's been designed to, it's a HTML5 framework that's becoming very popular. So I see you, you have like a um, Twitter and Facebook. This, this hasn't actually padded out yet. Mm -hmm. um, we have a version of this that runs the open source Ford smart device link. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's not in this vehicle at the moment. We're still just fine tuning that in the open at the moment. And what about the display on, on top? This is just something that we just rapidly did a reskin of to show what might be possible in the future. And who created this in part? A Jaguar Land Rover with a couple of partners and you can see we've got a, a fake Jaguar Land Rover logo at the top. There we go. Wow, it's nice. Yeah, it's not perfect, it was just done very quickly. Um, as a proof of concept, just, just to see what's capable. With this platform, when we opened it up about four weeks ago, we uh, gave it away on AGL. It's had about 4,000 downloads, I and mean, it's a big competition, a contest going on at the moment. Who can do the best reskin? Who can add the best features? Because it's an open source program. Is there, is there some projects still going on? Projects with? With, with this one. Um... Oh, yeah. This, this is a platform for the future, and all the time we're adding new functionality to it. When we add new functionality, you can go to the repos, you can download that. You can go and download the updated image. This is actually the second image that's been released. The first one didn't have the video playback. Mm. And as soon as we have a new feature, we send it out on the AGL mailing lists. We, we inform people and we let people download it. All right. And how many companies are um, partnering or um, creating I think things in this project? Have a look at the AGL webpage. OK. And that will have the complete list of companies that are involved with AGL. Um, there's Jaguar Land Rover, there's Toyota, there's Harman, there's Symphony Teleca, there's Exonos, there's lots of different companies. All right, All right thanks.